Jamaica's preparation for any possible introduction of the novel coronavirus started immediately after formal identification of the virus on January 7 in China. Frontline employees, including those at the ports, the police, Jamaica Fire Brigade, aviation services, airlines, and, of course, healthcare workers, were engaged in a preparatory training for the new virus, should it get to our shores. As more information emerged, government developed protocols for quarantine and isolation, began establishing coronavirus wards, and initiated plans for special field hospitals. As the seriousness of the health risk continued to take shape, action was swift. Jamaica has imposed a ban on travel to and from China in wake of the World Health Organization declaration of the novel coronavirus as a global health emergency. All persons entering the island from China will be subject to immediate quarantine for a minimum of 14 days. Local regulations classify a novel virus as a class one reportable disease or health event of highest priority, which healthcare providers must report immediately on suspicion to the medical officer of health at their parish health departments. To facilitate notification, the Ministry of Health and Wellness disseminated case definitions for the novel coronavirus to the public health network. Jamaica's National Influenza Center received support from the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, in implementing the methodology for molecular diagnosis and confirmatory testing of the coronavirus. Within two weeks of the international declaration, here we are. We are able to test. I would just like to commend the Ministry of Health and Wellness for the early and effective action they have taken. And we in PAHO continue to support the Ministry of Health and Wellness. During the early alert phase, interventions included consultations with the WHO and PAHO to learn more about the nature of the virus, its symptoms and treatment. The government has signaled its absolute commitment in terms of resource allocation and expenditure to ready our public health system to deal with the consequences of internal spread. And we are actively engaged now in procuring additional supplies, training our staff members, um, ensuring we have medicines, equipment, ventilators, beds. Nearly $2 billion was budgeted for the Health Ministry's National COVID-19 Response Plan. To do the following, guide the direction, coordination and management of the health response support emergency response agencies in the implementation of the national plan, monitor and evaluate key actions in public health to ensure their effectiveness and efficiency in achieving the stated strategic goals of the government to delay, detect, maintain and manage and communicate for the COVID-19, as well as to mobilize the needed resources to ensure the comprehensive implementation of key actions needed to realize the goals of the plan. A robust public health education campaign began, informing Jamaicans about the existence of COVID-19 and how to protect themselves. These kinds of information permeated town hall meetings and regular media briefings, which quickly became virtual affairs. Government and private sector stakeholders met early to devise strategies for mitigating any potential impact on health, the economy and national life. The experts began crafting a response for the public sector, including rules of engagement for hospitals, health centers, and frontline workers. The key turning point in Jamaica's COVID-19 pandemic response came on March 10, 2020, when the country reported its first imported case.